Welcome back to another video and today with a awesome desktop setup with the new Asus ROG Ethereum case which as you can see is just huge. Now this case might have a issue or a problem and that problem might be serious which is exactly the size. I'm not really sure if you will have the space to fit in this case on your setup. If you do you will have a great experience and an awesome case for your setup so I will leave a link down below so that you can check the exact size and take your decision. Now almost all the components we have seen here on the channel I will leave some links down below. It has Windows 11 installed so if you still haven't activated your Windows 10 or 11 don't forget to check out KeysFan which is a platform where we will find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below in the description you will get an extra discount. Now let's focus on the case today but just to sum up what I've got here on the build we have the Asus ROG Ethereum GR701 case, Asus motherboard B760 ROG Strix gaming Wi-Fi D4 the Intel 13th generation CPU, all-in-one cooler ROG Rio 3 360A RGB, a power supply ROG Thor 1000 Gaming, a ROG Strix GPU RTX 4070 Ti, 32GB of RAM with Aura Sync, the S3 Plus Dragon Heart, 3 SSDs from Sabrent, 2 of them Rocket 4 Plus, and one Rocket Q4, all of them PCI 4.0. So one of the issues is the size, but if you have space, then you will have space for all your components. The format is EATX, so we will be able to fit any motherboard that we want. Two radiators of 420 mil, one on the top and one at the front. It has built-in four of 140 mils which are very silent and they are connected via a hub on the back which we can control for the air flux. Build quality is just impressive. It is difficult to find plastics right over here because everything is almost aluminium alloy. For example this part right over here of which is grey and you can see that will cover the, the case. It's like a skeleton and on some pictures or even on videos we can see that okay this is probably plastic but no it's metal completely solid. We don't find many plastics right over here. We also have glasses. So the build quality is awesome and impressive and heavy. It weighs 20 kilos without any components. So at this moment it has 20 something kilos. The panels are glass made and also brushed aluminium. Very easy to do anything on this case. We just open it up with one hand, no tools required. And if we need to remove it, we can also remove it without any tool for that. Cable management. We have a lot of space, so a lot of space for cable management. It has a central column on the back that we can use to pass all the cables and also has a cover that will help to put on all those cables in size. In terms of size, uh, it has a lot of advantages having this size because the RTX 4070 Ti, which is a huge GPU that we have compared here with the 3080, for example, in terms of size, and here it looks quite small for this case. Talking about GPUs, we can put it in in the classical way, which is on the horizontal, but the case it's ready to assemble a GPU like I did right now, which is in the vertical and personally I prefer like this. It comes with everything with the exception of the PCI cable, which I already had. So if you are going to get one of these and you want to put it on the vertical, don't forget to get one of those cables. Here on the bottom part has some extra space for storage, which is really cool. Uh, it has a drawer where we can put some accessories that we don't use every time. And if we remove this drawer, we will have access to a secret chamber, which is completely isolated for the power supply. It has space for the power supply, all the cables that we will need and more items if we want to. Now it is a chamber that is completely isolated but if we take a look right over here it will let pass through if the power supply has anything to show which is in this particular case the ROG Thor uh, will give us RGB and the 
power consumption so it looks really really cool i would say that this case with this small detail with a normal psu it's not as fun as this now it also has that hub that i was talking about for the fans we can also control the leds we can control up to eight connectors irgb six fans and it's all controlled via this usb which we can also control via software with the asus armory crate which besides changing color we can also change fan speeds and so on and so forth now in terms of the leds besides this option we also have at the front a button that will let us cycle through colors without messing with any software just pressing the button and we'll have different colors right over there talking about leds we can place scene and connect via that hub um, led stripes any led stripe but the case already comes with leds at the front top and at the front bottom which in my opinion looks awesome on the top panel we will find two usb type c ports up to 20 gigabits four usb 3.0 ports one power button one reset button and led button and basically this is it it is a extra case on all aspects on build quality on size on weight on space everything cable management is just awesome cooling is awesome so the only issue that i can see right over here is the space if we don't have the space for it then it will be a real bummer but if we do then we will have a great experience in terms of the experience itself as you could see by some images i did assemble this setup without any issues whatsoever very easy to use a lot of space which is not that usual on normal cases so we will have everything to have a really nice experience while building our setup and of course after that enjoy the setup as it is hopefully i was able to pass to that side of the screen all the information that i could gather regarding the asus rock Epirum. if the video was helpful in some way don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one